Queen back again with another video. I mean, as you guys know, we are consistent. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you're gonna love it here. And if you're a returning subscriber, then thank you so, so much for coming back. So as you can tell from the title of this video, today we have a cute little girl talk video. So do sit down and enjoy. So what actually prompted this video is the fact that I'm on a journey. I don't know what to call this exactly because it's not really a spiritual awakening. I don't think I can call it that because it doesn't feel like a spiritual awakening. I don't know, but I wouldn't even know what a spiritual awakening feels like, but I don't think it's a spiritual awakening. It's also not a quarter life crisis because like I'm still a little bit far from 25. I only turned 22 a few months ago. So I don't know exactly what to call this, but whatever it is, I am going through it. <laughs> whatever it is, I am going through it. Like guys, I'm going through changes. Okay. I feel like I'm growing. I feel like I'm learning new things, you know, all of that. And what better way to share my newly found knowledge then with you guys on my platform. As of late, I've really gotten into the habit of journaling more often. I always used to journal, but now it's more frequently. And um, I also like to like tap on my notes and stuff like, with notes, it's a lot more accessible because anytime that I think of something like any new idea, I can just like, whip up my phone chances are my phone is probably already in my hands and i'll just open my notes app and then i'll just type down whatever i'm thinking this is why they say don't open a girl's notes app until you know that you can handle whatever you see there so um i <laughs> i typed a few things on my notes app and this was like literally in the middle of the night guys that's why i'm saying like i'm going through some sort of awakening slash journey slash but I really like it because it feels, it feels good. I feel like I'm growing and you know, it's, it's positive changes. So I really wanted to share this with you guys. And I'm just gonna be reading it verbatim, word for word as I wrote it down on my notes app at 32 minutes past 12. <laughs> so um, I titled it, Pray for the Ability to Let Go and Only Accept What Comes from God and Nothing Else. Which is true because I used to have this thing whereby I found it difficult to let go of how I wanted things to be, of you know my plans and stuff. And then the older I become, I realize that you know what? If it's not from God, I don't want it. If it is not from God, I don't want it. So I went on to write, it's so easy to get caught up in making plans planning how we want things to be, planning where we want to see ourselves. Planning is all good and well, but it will be in vain if we don't center God in our plans and consult Him. God already has a plan for us, which He does. And then I put Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Period. No one can stop what God has ordained for me. No one and nothing can stand in the way of God's plan for me. Not even myself. And for me, what I meant by not even myself is that like, you know how in life you make mistakes and then you'll feel like, oh my gosh, I just ruined my own life. Or, oh my gosh, now I messed up my life path, I messed up my goals and stuff. But then I realized that, you know what? God already factored in the mistakes that I was going to make when he was like creating my life path. So I said, whatever plan God has for us is the plan that will prevail. And I'm actually happy that things are that way. How comforting is it to know that the creator of the heavens and the earth, the creator of the sun, moon and stars made a detailed plan for my life, a plan specific to me, a plan that factors in any and all mistakes I may make along the way, which by the way, some mistakes are not mistakes, but rather an opportunity to learn and an opportunity to grow. And at this point in time, when I was typing this, I literally had tears in my eyes because Sometimes I feel like 
oh my goodness, like I mess things up for myself. But then again, I remind myself that, you know what? It's not really messing up because I learned something. Like it's an opportunity to learn. It's a learning curve. The same way, some of the obstacles and difficulties of life are preparing me for a greater destiny than I could have imagined for myself. It is also very important to work on a relationship with God. And I literally keep on telling myself this, like whether I'm feeling discouraged or like disheartened, whatever I'm going through, I try to, you know, always revert back to God. Because I don't want to lose the relationship that I already have with God. Like having a relationship with God is the best thing that I've ever done with my ooh, the best thing I've ever done for myself. And it's the best thing you'll ever do for yourself as well. Okay. It is also very important to work on your relationship with God so you can hear him when he speaks to you. Allow God to speak to you and to get through to you. Allow God's plan to play out and enjoy the journey. And always remember that everything will happen in God's perfect timing. Guys, mind you, I typed this at like midnight. And I just realized that, you know what? Someone out there, they need to hear this the same way. I just needed to like type it out and to always revert back to this notes And remind myself that, you know what? Everything will happen in God's perfect timing. With God's Speed. and yeah guys that's what i'm going to leave you guys with always remember that god has a plan for you and that plan will prevail in god's perfect timing so with that being said guys i hope that you enjoy the short little message that i left for you i'm also just going to make sure i have like a screen grab on the screen somewhere so that if you want to take a screenshot of that you can also take a screenshot of that and just keep it somewhere there on your phone because since i've typed this i have gone back to read it multiple times it's carried me through and i hope that it also carries you through if you need it so until next time this is it from the consistent queen bye Thank you.